Introduction of Thirty Tempting Spaghetti Meals. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson. Thirty Tempting Spaghetti Meals, Easy, Economical, Delicious. Introduction How spaghetti can help you serve more delicious, more nourishing meals for less money. It takes real planning to feed a family, both economically and well. But you'll find Fanco American Spaghetti a big help in solving your problem. Few foods provide so much real nourishment and deliciousness at such a low cost. Serve it by itself as a main dish or in combination with other foods. Franco-American spaghetti furnishes plenty of protein for building muscles. It is especially rich in carbohydrates needed for energy. It combines with other foods to make a variety of satisfying, delicious meals. Add a salad or simple fruit dessert, and you have a well-balanced menu, easy to digest, easy on the budget. Spaghetti combines wonderfully with other foods. Combine it with leftover meat into appetizing casseroles. Use it to dress up cheaper cuts of meat. Serve it on a platter with lamb stew or meatballs. Your family will look forward to Friday dinners if you make a tasty casserole of spaghetti and salmon or other inexpensive fish. They'll enjoy green peppers stuffed with savory spaghetti, too. Attractive menu suggestions are given with each recipe in this leaflet. They give you meals which are inexpensive and easy to prepare. Look them over now and surprise your family with one tonight. Why you should insist on Franco-American. It makes a big difference which spaghetti you serve. Franco-American is different as can be from the ordinary ready-cooked kind. Its tangy, tempting sauce is rich with the luscious goodness of fine ripe tomatoes and golden cheddar cheese. It's seasoned to savory perfection with costly spices. A skillful blend of eleven different ingredients, far better than I could ever make, good home cooks tell us. You can enjoy this millionaire's dish for less than three cents a portion. A can of Franco-American is usually no more than ten cents. You can't buy uncooked spaghetti with all your other ingredients and prepare it yourself for so little. Serve these savory spaghetti dishes twice a week or oftener. Keep a supply of Franco-American on hand. Order several cans from your grocer today. It's a great time and money saver in your kitchen. Franco-American spaghetti with extra good sauce, made by the makers of Campbell's Soups. Each recipe in this booklet serves four, with the exception of Chicken Royal. End of Introduction Section number one of Thirty Tempting Spaghetti Meals. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Connor Coots. Thirty Tempting Spaghetti Meals by Campbell Soup Company. Salmon Spaghetti Casserole. One can Franco American spaghetti. One and a half cups flaked salmon. One and a half teaspoons minced onion. Four strips bacon. Half teaspoon salt. Place a layer of Franco-American spaghetti in a shallow grease casserole. Add some of the flaked salmon and the onion. Alternate layers of spaghetti, fish, and onion till all are used. Arrange bacon strips cut in half over top. Bake in hot oven, 420 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit, about 20 minutes, until casserole is well heated and bacon crisp. Serve with peas, salad of shredded cabbage and seeded raisins with French dressing, plain spice cake with whipped cream for dessert. Savory Timbles One can Franco-American spaghetti One cup ground leftover meat Beef corned beef, ham, half teaspoon salt, one-fourth teaspoon paprika, one tablespoon parsley, chopped fine, two eggs, slightly beaten. Chop Franco-American spaghetti and mix thoroughly with other ingredients. 
Fill buttered custard cups three-fourths full. Place layer of brown paper over bottom of shallow pan and fill with hot water. Put in custard cups and bake in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Serve on hot platter, garnish with parsley. Delicious with buttered turnips and a green salad. Cherry upside down cake for dessert. Hearty soup dinner makes a hit on frosty fall days. Two large onions. Two three-fourths cups water. One can Franco-American spaghetti. Three-fourths teaspoon salt. Two cans Campbell's beef soup. Parmesan cheese. Slice onions and cook in boiling salted water for 10 minutes. Chop Franco-American spaghetti a little and add with soup to onions. Bring to a boil and serve at once in soup plates with Parmesan cheese and crackers. Try large fruit salads or cupcakes with chocolate sauce for dessert. Oyster Casserole Deluxe Grand for Friday or any day. Two tablespoons butter. Two tablespoons flour. Three-fourths teaspoon salt. One-eighth teaspoon pepper. One tablespoon chopped parsley. Half cup milk, about. One and a half dozen oysters. One can Franco-American spaghetti. Buttered breadcrumbs. Melt butter in saucepan and blend with flour and salt till smooth. Pour oyster liquor in cup and add milk to make three-fourths cup. Add gradually to flour mixture, stirring constantly till smooth and slightly thick. Add parsley. In a grease baking dish, place a layer of spaghetti, dot with oysters, and cover with white sauce. Repeat till all ingredients are used, ending with white sauce. Cover with buttered breadcrumbs and bake in a moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, till heated through and browned on top. Serve with squash and spinach. Fresh fruit tarts for dessert. Chicken Royale. Fit for a king. Two cans Franco-American spaghetti. One cup stuffed olives, sliced. Three-fourths teaspoon salt. One-eighth teaspoon pepper. Half teaspoon paprika. Two and a half cups of chicken meat. Two tablespoons butter. Buttered breadcrumbs. To spaghetti, add stuffed olives and seasonings. Arrange a layer of mixture in bottom of grease baking dish. Spread all the chicken over this and dot with butter. Cover with remaining spaghetti and sprinkle with buttered crumbs. Bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, for 30 minutes or till crumbs are browned. Garnish with slices of hard-boiled egg if desired, and sprinkle with paprika. Serve with cheese sticks and a green salad. Serves six. Grand for Sunday night supper. Spaghetti with frizzled beef. A tempting jiffy dinner on your afternoon out. Three-fourths cup dried beef. Two tablespoons butter. One can Franco-American spaghetti. Pick dried beef into small pieces. If it is very salty, freshen 10 minutes in cold water and drain well. Melt butter in hot frying pan in frizzled beef till slightly browned. Add Franco-American spaghetti and mix. Cook over low flame till heated through. Serve with buttered baby beets and coleslaw with boiled custard over sliced peaches for dessert. Crispy meat patties, an easy way to make tempting croquettes. Half cup breadcrumbs, one cup chopped cooked vegetables, carrots, beets, peas, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, three-fourth teaspoon salt, one cup ground leftover meat, one egg slightly beaten with one and a half tablespoons cold water, one can Franco-American spaghetti. Chop Franco-American spaghetti Fine and mix with vegetables, Worcestershire, salt, and ground meat. Shape into cakes, dip in breadcrumbs, then in beaten egg, and again in crumbs.
Chill 20 minutes in refrigerator. Saute in hot fat, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. One inch deep in a heavy frying pan until brown on each side. Drain on absorbent paper. Serve with cucumber salad, strawberries, or sliced pineapple for dessert. Thrifty meat scallop. Delicious made with leftover ham, corned beef, pot roast. Two cans Franco-American spaghetti. One and a half cups leftover meat. Three-fourths teaspoon salt. One-eighth teaspoon pepper. Buttered breadcrumbs. Chop Franco-American spaghetti a little. Grind meat and add seasonings. Arrange in alternate layers in shallow grease baking dish, finishing with spaghetti. Cover with buttered crumbs. Bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, till scallop is heated through and crumbs are slightly browned. 20 minutes. Excellent with fried apple rings. Serve with prune whip for dessert. Liver on casserole, a tempting meal in one dish. Three-fourths pound beef liver. Season flour. Four tablespoons butter. Two tablespoons flour. One cup boiling water. Three-fourths teaspoon salt. One-eighth teaspoon pepper. One can Franco-American spaghetti. One and a half cups cooked string beans. Two tablespoons chopped pimento. Buttered crumbs. Wipe off liver with a damp cloth and cut in small pieces. Dip in flour seasoned with salt and pepper. Melt three tablespoons butter in hot frying pan and pan broil liver three minutes, turning once. Remove from pan and mix with Franco-American spaghetti and string beans. Add remaining butter to frying pan and blend with flour till smooth. Add boiling water gradually, stirring till smooth and thickened. Add to liver mixture and put in greased casserole. Cover with buttered crumbs and bake in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, about 30 minutes till heated through and browned on top. Serve pineapple upside down cake for dessert. End of section one. Section 2 of 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Lauren Fontaine. 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals by Campbell Soup Company. Part 2. Vegetable Dinner. Vegetable Dinner. It's easy to make vegetable dinners so attractive that everyone enjoys them. Simply select vegetables which contrast in flavor, color, and texture. From each of the following, choose one green leafy vegetable, spinach or other greens, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, one white vegetable, cauliflower, onions, white turnip, etc., one yellow vegetable, carrots, squash, corn, Franco-American spaghetti, one red vegetable, beets, red cabbage. Tasty oven dinner, prepared in a jiffy. Twelve small onions, one quarter cup grated American cheese, eight sausages, one can Franco-American spaghetti. Parboil onions and arrange around edge of shallow greased baking dish or large glass pie plate. Sprinkle with grated cheese. Meanwhile, pan broil sausages till slightly browned. Mix with Franco-American spaghetti and turn into center of baking dish. Bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, till spaghetti is heated through and cheese is melted. Serve with clover rolls and large fruit salads. Stuffed cabbage. Make this an oven dinner. One medium-sized cabbage, one can Franco-American spaghetti, three tablespoons finely chopped green pepper, one cup leftover meat, corned beef, ham, cut in pieces, one teaspoon salt, one-eighth teaspoon pepper. 
Cut away center leaves of cabbage, leaving thickness of three or four leaves outside. Mix other ingredients, fill cabbage shell, and fasten together with toothpicks. Set on rack in covered roaster. Pour one half inch boiling water in bottom of pan, cover, and bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 minutes. Brush with melted butter and serve on hot platters surrounded by baby carrots which have been cooked in roaster around cabbage. For dessert, serve spice cake with hot nutmeg or lemon sauce. Beef goulash. This calls for seconds. One pound round steak, two tablespoons butter, one eighth teaspoon pepper, one half teaspoon salt, three quarters teaspoon paprika, one green pepper, chopped, one can Franco-American spaghetti, chopped, three tablespoons flour, one can Campbell's consomme expanded with one cup water, two medium onions, sliced. Cut steak into one-inch dice. Melt butter in pan over hot fire and brown beef. Sprinkle with seasonings and add onion, cooking till yellow. Stir in flour till smooth and add expanded consomme and green pepper. Cover and simmer about 45 minutes till meat is three quarters done. Add Franco-American spaghetti and cook 10 minutes longer. For dessert, serve macaroon trifle. To make, line bottom of sherbet glasses with bananas which have been dipped in lemon juice. Sprinkle with macaroon crumbs and fill remaining part with boiled custard or any prepared vanilla pudding. Beef and mushrooms with spaghetti. Three quarters pound chopped beef, three quarters teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, two tablespoons butter, one can Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, one can Franco-American spaghetti. Add seasonings to meat. Melt butter in hot frying pan and brown meat. Add mushroom soup without the addition of water and Franco-American spaghetti, mixing well. Cover and cook over low flame till heated through. Serve with Brussels sprouts. Apricot whip for dessert. Poached eggs in spaghetti nests. Children love this delicious, healthful luncheon. One green pepper, diced and parboiled. Four eggs. Two cans Franco-American spaghetti salt and pepper. Mix green pepper with spaghetti and heat in a saucepan. Poach the eggs. On each hot luncheon plate, make a nest with a quarter of the spaghetti. Place egg in center, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and garnish with parsley. A tempting dish for Sunday night supper, too, and easy as can be to prepare. Serve with mixed fresh vegetable salad fresh berries or preserved fruit and cookies for dessert. Russian steak, tender and tasty. Three quarter pounds chopped beef, one can Franco-American canned spaghetti, two teaspoons salt, one quarter pound mushrooms cut fine, one egg slightly beaten, two cups shredded carrots, two cups boiling water, two teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, Chop Franco-American spaghetti fine, mix with chopped beef, half teaspoon salt, slightly beaten egg, and shape into 12 small cakes. Dust with flour on each side. Cut mushrooms fine and brown in hot fat in a heavy frying pan. Brown meat cakes. Add boiling water, one and a half teaspoon salt, and shredded carrots. Cover and simmer 20 minutes. Add Worcestershire sauce and simmer 10 minutes more. Serve with vegetables over meat cakes and a green salad. Preserved figs and cookies for dessert. Spaghetti ring with vegetables and cold cuts. A tempting company dinner. Two cans Franco-American spaghetti. One pimiento, chopped. Two tablespoons green pepper, chopped. Three quarters teaspoon salt. Three eggs, slightly beaten. Mix all ingredients well and turn into greased ring mold. Put brown paper into shallow pan, add hot water, and place ring mold in it. Bake 50 minutes in moderate oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, or until firm. 
unmold on serving dish or chop plate and fill center with buttered vegetables, as string beans, diced beets, or chopped spinach. If desired, surround ring with overlapping slices of cold meat, ham, liverwurst, beef, or lamb. Strawberry or pineapple sundae for dessert. End of section two. Section three of 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals by Campbell Soup Company. Part 3. Savory Lunch Casserole. A favorite with children or grown-ups. Three slices bacon, chopped. Two cans Franco-American spaghetti. One half teaspoon salt. 1 and 1 half cups cooked lima beans, 1 quarter cup grated American cheese, 1 quarter cup buttered bread crumbs. Cook bacon till crisp and add to spaghetti. Add salt to lima beans. Alternate layers of spaghetti and lima beans till all are used. Mix grated cheese with buttered bread crumbs and sprinkle over top. Bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes till cheese is melted. Serve with a green salad, fresh fruit cup, and cookies for dessert. Spaghetti Meatloaf, a thrifty favorite. One and one half pounds chopped beef, two tablespoons melted fat, one and three quarter teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, one half teaspoon sage, one onion minced, one egg slightly beaten, one can Franco-American spaghetti chopped fine. Mix meat and fat with seasonings. Add chopped spaghetti and slightly beaten egg, mixing well. Shape into a loaf and bake in greased baking pan in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for 50 minutes. If desired, thicken juices in pan with flour and add hot water to make a gravy, delicious with spinach and creamed carrots. For dessert, bake a plain cake at the same time as meatloaf and serve with hot fruit or butterscotch sauce. Bacon Scallop, an easy way to make a tasty dinner. Eight slices Canadian bacon, one can Franco-American spaghetti, one can Campbell's pepper pot soup, one quarter cup hot water, buttered bread crumbs. Pan broil Canadian bacon slightly. Mix hot water with soup and add to spaghetti. In shallow greased baking dish, put alternate layers of spaghetti mixture and bacon. Cover with buttered crumbs and bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, about 30 minutes, till heated through and browned on top. Delicious served with buttered green cabbage, pickled beets, and banana gingerbread shortcake for dessert. Casserole of veal, a tempting dish for cool days. One slice salt pork, two pounds breast of veal, one teaspoon salt, one can Franco-American spaghetti sauce, six small cooked carrots, one cup cooked green peas or string beans, one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, buttered bread crumbs. Dice the salt pork and melt out the fat. Cut up veal and sear in hot fat. Add salt and hot water to cover. Simmer, closely covered for one hour. Chop spaghetti and mix with vegetables and veal. Put in greased casserole. Thicken one cup of the meat stock with two tablespoons of flour. Add Worcestershire sauce. Pour over other ingredients. Cover with buttered bread crumbs and bake in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for half an hour, till dish is heated through and crumbs are browned. Tempting Friday Loaf. A grand emergency dish, too. One can Franco-American spaghetti, two cups red salmon flaked, two eggs slightly beaten, one tablespoon parsley chopped, three-quarter teaspoon salt, one-eighth teaspoon pepper, two tablespoons melted butter. Chop spaghetti and mix well with other ingredients. Pack in greased loaf pan and bake in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, for 30 minutes. Serve with beet greens and buttered parsnips. Cupcakes may be baked at same time as loaf and served with hot nutmeg or fruit sauce. Spanish spaghetti. Tastes as good as it looks. Three tablespoons fat, 
one medium sized onion minced three quarter pound hamburger one cup celery cut fine two tablespoons pimento chopped one green pepper chopped one and one quarter teaspoon salt one teaspoon paprika one and one third cups hot water one can franco-american spaghetti cook onion in fat till yellow add hamburger and brown mix with green pepper pimento seasonings celery and water cook fifteen minutes add franco-american spaghetti and cook ten minutes more serve with sliced buttered carrots baked red cinnamon apples for dessert franco-american omelet new and different three eggs three-quarter teaspoon salt one-eighth teaspoon pepper one tablespoon chopped parsley one can franco-american spaghetti chopped one tablespoon butter separate yolks and whites add seasonings to yolks beating till thick and lemon color chop franco-american spaghetti and mix with egg yolks beat whites till stiff but not dry and fold into first mixture till well blended heat omelet pan and butter bottom and sides spread omelet evenly cooking over low heat till delicately browned and puffy set in oven a few minutes to dry off top fold and turn on hot platter serve with salad greens and fruit gelatin with whipped cream for dessert french mousse one half cup scalded milk three quarter cup soft bread crumbs one quarter cup melted butter one and one half tablespoons minced onion three quarter cup grated cheese one and one half tablespoons chopped parsley one teaspoon salt one half teaspoon paprika three eggs well beaten two cans franco-american spaghetti pour scalded milk over bread crumbs add butter onion parsley grated cheese and seasonings add well beaten eggs put spaghetti in well buttered glass loaf dish or baking dish and pour cheese mixture over it bake in moderate oven 350 degrees fahrenheit till firm about 50 minutes serve with mushroom sauce delicious with green peas end of section three Section 4 of 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Stacy M. 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals by Campbell Soup Company. Part 4. Tuna Cakes with Mushroom Sauce. One can Franco-American spaghetti. One egg beaten. 1 and 1 half cups flaked tuna fish, 3 quarter teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper, 1 half cup water, 1 half cup breadcrumbs, 1 tablespoon butter, 1 egg slightly beaten with 1 and 1 half tablespoons cold water, 1 can Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, 2 tablespoons chopped pimiento, chopped spaghetti fine, mix with beaten egg, flaked tuna fish, salt and pepper shape into cakes and dip in crumbs then in egg and again in crumbs chill in refrigerator 20 minutes fry in hot fat 375 degrees fahrenheit one inch deep in heavy frying pan drain on absorbent paper for sauce add water to campbell's cream of mushroom soup and heat with butter and pimientos serve hot with tuna cakes casserole of tongue unusually tasty, one teaspoon prepared mustard, one teaspoon onion juice, three-quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon chopped parsley, one cup ground tongue, one can Franco-American spaghetti, one quarter cup water, buttered breadcrumbs. Mix seasonings with ground tongue, then mix with spaghetti and water. Arrange in greased baking dish and cover with buttered crumbs. Bake 25 minutes in moderately hot oven, 375 degrees Fahrenheit, till heated through and brown on top. Delicious with spinach and buttered carrots. Serve pineapple gelatin with whipped cream for dessert. Stuffed pork chops with savory spaghetti. Four pork chops cut one and three quarter inch thick. One can Franco-American spaghetti chopped. Three tablespoons diced green pepper. 
one teaspoon onion juice, one tablespoon melted butter. Split lean meat in half, cutting to bone. Mix remaining ingredients thoroughly and stuff chops. Draw edges together with one or two toothpicks and dip in flour well seasoned with salt and pepper. Arrange in greased baking pan with remaining spaghetti mixture around chops and bake in a hot oven, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 minutes, turning once. Serve with broccoli and Harvard beets. Lemon meringue pie for dessert. Jiffy chop plate, as zestful as it looks. One and one quarter pounds sausage cakes, or one to one and one quarter pounds chopped beef. One teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon pepper, two teaspoons minced onion, two cans Franco-American spaghetti, Brussels sprouts, peas or asparagus tips, fry sausage cakes, or if beef cakes are preferred, mix chopped beef and seasonings. Shape into eight cakes and pan broil. Meanwhile, heat Franco-American spaghetti and cook whichever vegetable is desired. Keep spaghetti in center of a chop plate or large platter. Around it, Alternate meat cakes and small mounds of vegetables. Garnish with parsley. Serve with a green salad. Lemon tarts and coffee for dessert. Franco steak casserole. A savory dinner for four hungry people. One quarter cup flour. Two teaspoons salt. One and one half teaspoons paprika. One half teaspoon pepper. One pound round steak cut in serving pieces. One third cup fat two medium-sized onions, sliced, two cans Franco-American spaghetti, one cup cooked tomatoes, strained, one cup hot water. Mix flour with seasonings and roll steak in it. Brown onions a little in hot fat and add two tomatoes. Sear meat quickly and put in large greased casserole. Place spaghetti, tomatoes, and onions on meat. Blend remaining seasoned flour with fat and pan until smooth. Add hot water gradually, stirring till smooth. Strain over casserole mixture and cook in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for one and one half hours, or till meat is tender. End of section four. End of 30 Tempting Spaghetti Meals by Campbell Soup Company.